Harry was very concerned about Hagrid, and with Malfoy playing up his injury, he was worried about Buckbeak too. Where'd Hermione go anyway? It's nearly time for transfiguration class. Um, you two ready for class? Are you all right? What's happened? I'm just a bit tired, that's all. We'd better get up to the first floor, or we'll be late for transfiguration. We could take the first floor portrait shortcut. Or go round by the stairs. You lead the way, Harry. Right. First floor, transfiguration class. Hadn't. Have... Wasn't it great flying on Buckbeak, Harry? I bet you win all five collector's cards for Hippogriff flying. Word from Fred and George's shop to see what's behind the this update. Dungeon Potty, Peeves. I don't like the look of that armor. He's locked us in! I bet we could beat him if we all cast at once. Ron, get ready to use your Carpe Retractum spell when we've worn him down. Oh, goody. Three Ickle Playmates. <laughs> to be brilliant when you're scared half to death. We'd better get on to transfiguration class. Peeves has probably made us late. Hello and welcome to transfiguration class. One of the most advanced transfiguration spells enables a wizard to become an animagus. Animagi can transform themselves into animals and then back into people. For example... Are there any questions? Professor McGonagall, are werewolves Animagi? No, they're not. Animagi turn into animals at will. A werewolf cannot control its transformation. Now for today's lesson, the Draconifers and Lepifors spells. Miss Granger, perhaps you'd grace the class by having a go at the exercise I've prepared. Me? Oh, yes! If you'll just step through this door, then... Let's begin with the Lapifor spell, Miss Granger. Right. Lapifors. The transformation of a small object into a rabbit. Correct, Miss Granger. Five house points for Gryffindor. Cast Lapifors on the rabbit statue. You will then be able to control the transfigured rabbit. Lapifors! Use the arrow keys to move the rabbit in the desired direction. The right mouse button will make the rabbit hop. Push the forward arrow key and hold down the right mouse button for the longest jumps. Press the enter key any time you wish to stop the spell. Or simply complete the task at hand with the rabbit 
and the spell will stop on its own. Well done! Now, take note of the mound of earth, position the rabbit on top of the dirt, and press the left mouse button to begin digging. Right! Use the left mouse button to chew or dig. Splendid, Miss Granger. Let's move on to the Draconifor spell. Cast on the dragon statue, Miss Granger, to transform it into a living creature. Draconifors! Oh, brilliant! Now, listen closely. To proceed, you will need to use the dragon to get the fireball pick up. Then fly up and land on a platform. Finally, you must light the torch to complete this part of the challenge. Off you go, Miss Granger. Click the spacebar to make the dragon fly. Use the arrow keys to make it turn. Click the left mouse button to make the dragon breathe fire. Once he's grabbed a fireball pick, the dragon will produce one blast of flames for each pickup.
This, Miss Granger, is a Bundyman. A Bundyman will expel a foul trail of slime that you will need to avoid. Ugh! It's repulsive! You can cast Richter Sempra to stun a Bundyman. Then, if you're quick enough, you can jump on top of it to see if it will produce a reward. Richter Sempra! <laughs>
Nicely done, Miss Granger. You've completed the challenge. You've collected all ten challenge shields, which means... I get to go to the bean bonus room! Fantastic! Wow! This is the bean bonus room! Correct, Hermione. Collect as many goodies as you can before the time runs out. sort of dragon? Um, no. It's just a very small transfigured dragon. Oh, shame. You can have another go at the challenge if you like, Hermione. We can come back and do it another time. Another guy at the Draconophores Lapaforce challenge. <laughs> 